as someone as myself just starting my career about like a year and a half ago, um, the way we as women can support others is by mainly telling them to be confident. I think that's a huge thing. Um, just walking into a workplace, just confident, um, and not just to be afraid to voice your opinion in things. I know that thinking, knowing that we can voice our opinion nowadays is a huge achievement, especially from past generations. Um, and lastly, like, just don't be afraid to ask questions as well. I know when I was first starting out in my career, I, I'm going to echo what Megan had just said earlier about that best piece of advice was building and forming those relationships. I think being intentional about doing that was one of the ways that I felt best supported. So for example, when you know, you're know you getting to know who are you working with, who are the stakeholders, understanding those unspoken rules <laughs> as well, I think was one of the big pieces as I was starting out my career and understanding what is a culture, how do things work, how do things flow and where do I fit in that big picture is one of the, the big pieces that I was learning as I was starting out my career and how can I make an impact. So based off of all that information I gather, where do I fit and how can I make an impact in the big picture? And I think a big piece of it too is realizing sort of in both positions, somebody who's new starting out or somebody who's more seasoned in their career, we all have a shared experience of we were new at some point. We were very inexperienced at some point. Everyone has been in that in, in that position. And so for somebody who's just starting out, don't be afraid to reach out because people people have been there. They understand, they know. And so you have that shared experience that you can relate to together. So while it might feel a little scary, being able to approach and say, you know, how and ask questions, which is your point about like, well, what did you do when you were in my position? Or how did you get up to speed faster? Or just try and create that open line of communication. And Megan's point, develop that relationship. Because yeah. I think inherently in, in most most situations, people want to be of service to each other. They want to help and, and be helpful. And so it's just a matter of reaching out. And I try to proactively do that myself with new people that join my organization or join my team, or even those that aren't on my team, just that, that come across my path, because I know that you know, while I'm a pretty outgoing person and I'm not shy about speaking up, that's not everybody's style. And so making sure that I encourage folks to reach out to me and to know that I'm a safe place and a resource and that that I'll do whatever I can to help them get what they need to be successful. But sometimes it's sort of that that two way street of, of asking people to help you, as well as then once you're in a position to do that for others, being proactive to encourage folks to come to you as well. 